all so over the world people celebrate Diwali right so Diwali means like lights this is the storybook lights for Gita so Gita is the name of a girl written by Rachna Gilmore and illustrated by Alice Presley. So here on the cover page you can see this is Gita. So let's turn the page and what is Diwali? Diwali a festival of lights which falls in October or November is observed by Hindus all over the world. It is a magical family time that honors Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, who brings good fortune and prosperity. Good fortune and prosperity to all throughout the year. And it also celebrates the homecoming of Prince Ram and his wife Sita after years of exile as told in the Hindu epic Ramayana. Lots of sweets, parties, storytelling and fireworks make this holiday particularly loved by children because on these holidays there are so many sweets, cake and fireworks. So especially children love this holiday. So on first page here, as you guys can see, Gita is here, right? Gita, Gita pulled her hat down over her ear as she stepped off the bus. Diwali, she whispered. Today is really and truly Diwali, but nothing in the November gloom seemed like Diwali. Hmm. So on this page, here look, Gita is here. Today, New Delhi would be glowing with celebration. So New Delhi is the capital of the India country where Gita came from. So on Diwali, on this festival, there were so many fireworks around like, because almost everybody celebrates that Diwali. All her cousins would be together at her grandparents' house. Oh, so she is missing her cousins, right? laughing, talking, exchanging sweets with friends and neighbors. So on Diwali, what do they do? They celebrate with everybody, not just their relatives, their neighbors. Too. They distribute the sweets among the neighbors. In the evening, they would light Diaz, inviting Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth, to bless them. And then, fireworks. Gita looked anxiously at the dark clouds. Please, please don't rain. She said, please, please don't rain. Dad has said, I'll be home early with fireworks. Dad told Gita that Dad will be home early with fireworks to celebrate their first Diwali at their new home. So let's turn the page. So here on this page, what do we see on this page? Look, Gita. Here is Gita, Gita's mom, and daddy is here. It won't be like Diwali at her grandparents. Still, mom had made their favorite sweets and let Gita invite friends to a Diwali party. They would have fireworks, lots of them. That's what Diwali was all about, the festival of lights. Gita glared at the gray sky before racing upstairs to their flat. Dad, did you get the fireworks? 
asking dad. Yes, said daddy. But Gita, Diwali isn't just fireworks. There is. Show me dad. Dad, where are they? So Gita was so anxious to see the firework, she didn't even let daddy finish his sentence. So let's turn the page and see what happened. So on this page, look, Gita with her daddy. Gently, dad turned Gita towards the window. So here, there, at the window, look. A large drop splashed against the glass. Then another and another. Oh, oh. Raindrops, right? It won't last long, said Keta. The forecast said freezing rain tonight. Dad told Keta. Never mind, we will have the fireworks tomorrow. But I promised my friends, Gita said. So let's turn the page. So on this page, look, Gita and her mommy. So what are they talking about? Let's see. We will turn on all the lights, said mom. And light the dias. You and your friends will have a lovely party. Gita blinked back her tears. She wasn't happy. Come, said her mother. Change into your new dress. Then we will light the dias. So they can light the dias because dias are going to stay inside the house. So here, look, Gita and her mom. So let's see what are they doing. Would you like to see the dias? Look at in their hand. Dia. Mommy is holding one and Gita has one. Gita and her mother placed the little clay pot along the windowsill and around the room. Needles of ice stung the windows. Freezing rain on Diwali? How could this place ever be home? Because in India, where Gita came from, in November, cold there, yeah, but no ice rain, right? No freezing rain there. That's why she was wondering how she is going to fill this place. Be her home. Last year, Diwali had been warm and joyful. She and her cousins had set off noisy crackers called Little Rascals and Grandmother had told them stories of Prince Ram and his wife, Sita. And on Diwali, the grandparents loved to tell their grandchildren Ram and Sita's story. And the story was about homecoming of those couple. They spent years in exile out of their own country and then came back home. On this day, people welcomed them with fireworks. On that day, people celebrate with fireworks and lights. Diwali every year. The whole country celebrate the night with dazzling showers of fireworks. So let's turn the page. On this page, what do we see? Here, look, they are Lighting the dias, right? A sudden gust of wind rattled the window. Gita stuck out her tongue. You can't come in. You won't spoil my party. Mom bangles, tinklings. So bangles, mom is wearing bangles. Look here. On her hand, right? What is she doing? She is filling the pot with mustard oil. As she finished, the phone rang. 
Gita waited impatiently as her mother came back. Can I like the first dia? Mom just smiled and smoothed Gita's hair. That was Jenny and Shabana. It's too icy to drive. They can't come. The phone rang again. So I turned the page. So Gita wasn't happy at all, right? Gita was upset. She went to her room in her bed. I hate this place. She wasn't happy. She, she was really upset. Mom gently hugged her. Amy hasn't called and she doesn't live nearby. Gita pulled away and blew her nose. Oh, she was crying. Gita said mom very softly. Diwali is really about feeding the darkness with light. Fireworks cannot do it for us. We must do it ourselves. Mom's smile was bright but also sad like grandmother's smile when they had said goodbye. So when Gita was leaving her country, her grandmother yeah, smiled but there was a sadness behind that smile. For a long moment, Gita sat still. Then she managed a smile. Let's light the dias. Hmm, good. Gita looks happy, right? She's smiling and lighting the dia. One by one, golden flames quivered and sprang. To life with the warm fragrance of mustard oil. So with the flame, the smell of mustard oil comes out. Just as Gita lit the last one, the electric light flickered on and off. And on again. Then all the lights in the flat, in the houses, even in the street, die. Darkness on Diwali. Gita's throat tightened. Then she began to laugh. Then she began to laugh. Oops. So what happened? In their neighborhood, became very dark. Let's turn the page. On this page, look, Gita is looking through her window. In the sudden rush of darkness, their dias glowed. So it was very dark. That little dias became very bright in that deep darkness. In the sudden rush of darkness, their dias glowed. Bright, brighter, brightest filling the living room with light. We beat the darkness. We beat the darkness. We beat the darkness. We beat the darkness. Gita clapped her hands. Lakshmi will come and we will have wonderful luck, said Mom. Gita sang softly, watching drops of freezing rain glitter as they flew past the windows. Slowly the headlights of a car came down the street and stopped in front of their building. Hmm. So dark. It's Amy. It's Amy, shouted Gita. As dad went downstairs with the torch, Gita ran ahead in the bouncing circle of light. She opened the front door, took a few cautious steps, then stopped. Eyes wide. Hmm, what did she see? The whole world glistened. The pavements, every branch, every twig, the lamp post, even the blades of grass. 
In the dark cities, only their windows blazed with the steady glow of the dia. The eyes reflecting their light sparked and dance and dance like fireworks. Let's turn the page. So here on this page, this is the last page of the book. Oh, it's brilliant, say Emmy. So this is Emmy. Gita's eyes shone. Tomorrow she would write to her grandparents about this new Diwali. Hey Emmy, let's play hide and seek while the power's still out. She took one last look at the light shining in the heart of the eyes. Come on, she shouted, let's you home. So they come inside the home, right? Finally, she found her happiness and she celebrated her Diwali in a different place, in a different environment. But they, they leave their dias, right? That's the end of the wonderful story of Gita and her Diwali celebration, right?